not certain. I'm looking to see. Ah! It's gonna come after me! We're on a thrilling adventure to the tide pools of Southern California, a place where nature's wonders are hidden beneath the waves, except for during low tide. We have a special mission to find mysterious California Black Sea here, the world's largest gastropod. Will we succeed in our quest? Stay with us as we dive into the mystery, beauty, and challenges of tide pooling in search of this peculiar creature. My family has been exploring these tide pools for four generations, ever since the 1960s. Every time we visit Southern California, I make sure to take my young boys to the beach and explore the biodiversity within the tide pools. It's not just about the excitement of finding various species of crabs, fish, sea anemones, and bivalves. One of the highlights is always spotting the California brown sea hare. But the real thrill is if we could find the ever-elusive California black sea hare. The California black sea hare, Aplasia vicaria, is a mollusk and marine snail. Not really a slug after all, that lives in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Monterey Bay, California, south of the Gulf of California in northwestern Mexico. Known for the tentacle-like extensions on its head, resembling a rabbit's ear, it is the largest gastropod in the world, growing up to 39 inches in length and weighing nearly 31 pounds. It's like a small dog. Unlike many other sea hares, it doesn't produce ink, but relies on toxins derived from its diet of brown seaweed to deter predators. A. vicaria is herbivorous and lives in intertidal and upper subtidal zones where it can survive exposure to air during low tides. The sea hare's diet of brown algae not only provides its dark coloration, but also contributes to its chemical defense. However, its favorite food is feather boa kelp, and munching on these delectable sea salads allows it to grow rapidly, about 5 grams per day. That's crazy. Reproductively, Avicaria is a simultaneous hermaphrodite, meaning it has both male and female organs, but must mate with another individual of its species. Typically, the smaller hare acts as the sperm donor, while the larger one receives, ensuring reproductive success in their natural habitat. Its pinkish white eggs are deposited in a spaghetti-like string. Our venture begins with a five-hour drive to Southern California, where we juggle traffic, family visits, and tide pooling. Planning and arriving at the tide pools at the right time for low tide is critical. The cold Pacific Ocean and the ever-present rogue waves are a constant challenge as we navigate the slippery, rocky terrain. Wading through these harsh elements, we never know if we'll find a black sea here around the next rock or pool. And in our hunt, we spot anemones, limpets, chitons, abalone shells, purple shore crabs, barnacles, mussels, and even juvenile opal eye fish. We are tide pooling. Hey Dad, look, anemone clutch. We are on the quest to find a sea hare here at Laguna Beach while tide pooling. Our first crab, a hermit crab. I caught a hermit crab! Each discovery brings a sense of wonder, but the elusive black sea hare remains hidden as we explore the complex ecosystems within the tide pools. Just one square foot can host a maraud of creatures, all perfectly adapted to this harsh environment. If you like stick your finger in there, I bet I'll try to bite it. I don't know if he's trying to eat. Hermit crabs? Alright, one second here. Ah! <laughs> Which one gotcha? But time is running out. The tide is changing and the pressure's on. What? It's now or never. With every passing minute, the stakes rise. The tide is coming in, and we haven't found what we're Come looking here. for. Then, I catch a glimpse of something unusual. Is it the black sea here? Carefully I work to free it from a rock crevice. It's squishy, but I'm unsure if it's a kelp holdfast or what. But as it detaches, I realize, this is it. A nearly 10 pound California black sea here. The culmination of our journey. It's enormous, and the excitement is indescribable. This is the moment we've been waiting for. And as we finally catch a glimpse of elusive California black sea here, our excitement is contagious, drawing the attention of other tide pullers nearby. With eager eyes and curious minds, children and the parents gather around, marveling at the size and uniqueness of the sea hare. Seizing the moment, we share our knowledge about this incredible creature, explaining how it's present signifies the health and biodiversity of this tide pool. I emphasize the importance of preserving these delicate ecosystems, encouraging the young explorers to respect and protect the tide pools for future generations. 
The awe and fascination in their faces reflects the wonder of discovery and the joy of learning about nature's incredible balance. We take a moment to appreciate our success and the incredible creature we've encountered before releasing it back to its rocky crevice. Okay, but don't fall, you don't want to smush him. <laughs> Gratitude washes over me for the trip, think? for my boys, and wife who are always willing to join me on these adventures, no matter how slimy they are, and for the amazing biodiversity of these tide pools. The biodiversity within a tide pool is astonishing. In just one small pool, even a square foot in size, you'll find a complex ecosystem functioning in perfect harmony. The adaptations these creatures have evolved to survive in such a harsh environment are mind-blowing. They endure wave action, salt water, and desiccation during low tide, all while being exposed to the intense solar radiation. Taking a moment to ponder these complexities of this environment is truly humbling. Nature and creation are so intricate and amazing. As we pack up and head home, I'm reminded of the importance of conservation. We must protect these natural resources for future generations. And exploring nature, away from screens, teaches us so much about life, ourselves, and the world around us. So let's continue to explore, appreciate, and protect the incredible natural world we are so fortunate to be a part of. And don't miss this next video, as I think you'll find it entertaining and informative.